Hi Aries, this is going to be your October sexual and love messages. So this is, you know, a disclaimer. There's going to be a lot of cussing. There's going to be a lot of sexual talk. So if this shit offends you or, you know, if you have kids or anything, listen to this when you're not around them. <laughs> Some shit's about to go down, okay? You know how I do it on my channel when it comes to these types of readings. <laughs> I'm going to use all my sexual decks. Actually, I forgot to take out this other deck here. Well, no, I'm not going to use this one because I feel like it's not as sexual than the other two that I have. So, let's see. All right, Aries, Aries, Aries. I'm going to start by using the Romance Angels, okay? Okay. So, Spirit, what message do you have for the sign of Aries and sex and love? Okay. This is this applies to the singles and the couples and the married, the married ones as well. Okay. So let's see. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have playfulness, the first card that came out. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Ooh, someone needs to be a little bit more playful in the relationship or with, you know, yourself. Um, flirt a little bit. Don't take things too serious or act too, like, serious about shit, you know. Play a little. Let loose. Have some fun. Okay, we, yeah, flirt. I literally just said flirt a little, right? And then this bitch comes out. Extend your lighthearted energy to others and play a little. Mm -hmm. Grab somebody's balls or smack someone's ass a little bit, you know. Bite their nipple, whatever you got to do. You play with their little huevitos or balls, you know. Just spice it up a bit. <laughs> I told you. Um, we have past life relationship as well. It says you have known each other before. So someone from your past could be flirting with you. You could be flirting with them. I'm seeing a lot of, you know, social media, especially Instagram, inboxing, flirting, sending those little nudes and that little, you know, sexual talk and all that bullshit. You know, flirting, you know, like I said, sending those two second videos just to tease somebody. That's, yeah, someone that's been keeping an eye on you. Someone you've known before. Okay. Uh, love yourself first. Yeah, that's very important. Love yourself first. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attracted. Some of you are, you know, flirting and being playful with someone from your past as well. At the same time, being very respectful to yourself, putting yourself on a pedestal, making yourself feel good, look good. Your morals are first. It's like you don't really have to show much for those that apply to that. You don't have to show much. Just by a, a playful smile, you know, a, a little shoulder showing can do the trick. You know what I mean? It, it depends on how you do it. <laughs> so, let's see here. True love. It says, this is the romance of a lifetime. You might end up being with this person, Aries, okay? Because I feel like you find yourself going back and forth throughout time Going back to this person, flirting, you guys go through each other's, through these phases like the moon where you see them and then you flirt and then you guys end up with other people and then you come back together. It's like no matter where you end up coming back to each other and you flirt and shit. So they see you as someone who, who stays busy, who keeps to themselves, someone who is not really out there. So that's what they love about you. I feel like you will end up with that person and it could be that person from the past. Someone you know, okay? And if it's not someone from your past, this could be someone that you're meeting that could have that familiar feeling like, oh, man, this person is the one, but there's something very familiar about them. Maybe you guys were together in your past life or something, but I think that's what gives it, like, the extra spark. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's push this aside a bit. And let's get some of the fortune reading cards. For my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me more about Aries and love. We have thorns. 
okay? Weathering uh, the challenges ahead will bring in new and positive future. So whether you're going through a struggle struggle in your current relationship or, you know, in that single life, whatever, it, it it's only to bring in new and positive future. Someone new, something coming in. You see how there's thorns around there, like this represents hard times or going through the lows with your partner or going through the lo lows in your dating life. See the sun there? Great things are coming. It's, it's just to show you and teach you a lesson a little bit. So you can appreciate the bomb when it comes in, you know, the good. Um, this came on the bottom too, so I felt like I had to take it. It says, beware, be careful who you trust at this time. So be very careful who you allow into your heart and soul. You don't just sleep around with anybody, okay? Because when you are, you know, connecting with somebody, you are merging your souls together. You're allowing them into your sacred space so it's, it's kind of like be careful who you allow in your heart and your soul at the same time sexually too and also represents you be careful who you tell your secrets to with your friends and everything because they might just you know backstab you or, or turn against you or stir some shit up because they see that you're finally happy with someone and this could be someone you go out with to clubs or whatever or just in general and they and they see you pulling back because you finally you know Find some time with a, a person that you really like and they could just be, you know, starting shit just for the fun of it. We have the uniting card here. It says a time of divine understanding renewal. Wow. Peace and hope. You radiate and attract great love. Dang. Unity. So you're definitely coming together with someone. You see? Definitely. Just like this says here. The thorns, the, the the bad, hard, harsh times brings in blessings. It brings in good love. Whether this is you're going through something with your person, you know, just be very careful who you tell because they could just go blab their mouth to your ex or whatever and just start some shit. So, but yeah, divine, this unity is being divinely guided. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace and hope. You radiate and attract great love. So... Dane. Okay, I see you, Aries. Ah, one flew out. <gasps> yeah, that's the one that flew out. So I'm taking it. And what do we got here? Proposal. Yes, baby. Yes. It says uh, a romantic or business opportunity is indicated. Dang, this is the uniting here. It comes together with the unity unity card, right? See how the two uh the two rings are uniting here and the two hands here. So it makes totally sense. Total sense. So someone could be making a proposal saying, hey, you know what? Let's get together. We always end up coming together anyway. So I feel like whatever you're going through, it's just going to lead to a really, really happy, great outcome. So yay, Aries. All right, let's get some of the roll, the whispers of love. You know, I'm saving all the sexual tarot cards for the end. <laughs> Aries. We have slow down. When you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. So let's say because I see a flame back here, which represents my fire, which represents you, and then there's like a couple right here dancing, and this person is daydreaming, okay? So if they, let's say they make a proposal to get you, get you guys back together, and all of a sudden in your mind you're daydreaming about a wedding and having kids and stuff like that, Spirit is telling you to slow down, okay? Take it slow. Allow things to, you know, unfold naturally. So it's always good to just take a moment to, to breathe in and, and, embrace the pace you know there's no rush in really anything what's meant to but what's meant for you will not pass you by and will definitely will it won't just you know you don't have to, there's no need to speed in other words my nose is closing up i think i'm getting sick all right it says be in the present and dream of the future when we dream everything is possible yes this is exactly what i see you doing here dreaming right you could dream you could you know do all these things in your mind but you know it is you know take it down a, a little bit you know you don't want to you know 
talk about or think about shit like that i know my aries could get excited and they're like oh my god we're gonna end up together forever even though you could possibly be because you did have this is the one and then we have proposal here so what the fuck are these cards talking about no these could represent singles or whoever it needs to remember this is all for singles and couples okay so be in the present and dream of the future when we dream everything is possible yes baby don't be afraid to you know there's no limit don't self-limit to yourself what you think you can have you know what i mean live your best life be happy don't worry about what other people say don't worry about the outcome just go with the flow Ooh, we have receive with love and appreciation okay it says receiving something lovingly from lovingly from others is a way of showing love. Okay, you could be getting um, a gift from somebody, a significant other. Uh, you could be giving a gift, but I feel like it's going to be you receiving one. Someone could be literally giving you a ring, a promise ring, an engagement ring, some type of jewelry, and that's that's what gets you like really daydreaming, and you're like, oh, it's really hard not to get ahead of yourself, but you know, <laughs> pretty damn exciting if you ask me. Let me get some fix. All right, we have a uh, look to your inner strength. Beautiful card. It says, you are stronger than you realize. Look at that. Stronger than you realize. Look to your inner strength. So because we have the thorns here, okay, maybe you felt like you're not strong. You, you, you don't have the power or have it in you to start something new again or to love again because, you know, of your past relationships or whatever it is that you went through the really hard time. And it was really hard for you to trust people. That's why we have the beware card. So it's kind of like telling you to, you have the strength, you have the power to heal yourself and you have the power to go again and again and again. Okay. It, it's all about, you know, how you think your mind is very powerful. You can hear, heal yourself just by the, the positive thinking. You're like, okay, I'm going through this. I'm, I'm understanding this is a phase. This is a wave. I'm going to write it out. When you do that and uh, surrender and allow things to just write out, whether it's good or bad, you get blessed 10 times more. So it says you are stronger than you realize. Just look within. Okay, so if you've been feeling a little down or a little weak in any way, shape, or form, this is just reminding you of how strong you are. Okay, let's leave these here. We'll do the... Um, lover's oracle towards the end so what sexual cards do we have for aries for the month of october whoa um okay this is the night of earth reversed it came out reversed the night of earth so capricorn towards virgo it could represent that this could also represent some someone who's being delayed uh coming forward or what was once delayed is now ready to be uh you know it's go time in other words so right now it, it's kind of like someone is taking their time or was taking their time to come forward to get this going whether it's you didn't want to sleep with this person um and now someone's going to get ready to do it it could mean that someone also is uh having really trouble with their tra transportation as well that could also be another scenario it could mean that um it could mean that you just haven't you know had sex with anybody in a long time and you've been very very deprived from it so you could be you know having your your moments where you just want to grab somebody and do them hard or something you know what i mean <laughs> that's why there's a lot of flirting and playing around because some of you haven't had sex in a while so it's like you're eager. That's why he's telling you to slow down in this car. You're so eager to just get it done or wanting to get it done as fast as you can. But it'll come to you, baby. Get it? It'll come to you. <laughs> I'm so nasty. All right. So this one came out, which is the Seven of Fire. Okay. This one came out reverse. I just flipped it over so I could see it. That's what it looks like in the upright. A bunch of bitches. You know, you know what I mean. Uh, so with the seven of fire reversed, I feel like this person is ready to settle down. They were probably, you know, always having to defend 
because they were a player or they were out there and you were someone was constantly having to defend themselves oh i do this because i'm single and i can or i do this because my husband's cheating on me or because this is this and that so you find yourself ready to just uh, let that go you're not giving matter what no matter if you're like the most richest person or happiest or holiest person in the world people will always still judge you so fuck it so i feel like a lot of people a lot of my aries have been just like sorry it cut off on me um yeah so it could represent someone who has been trying to defend themselves in their ways because they've been promiscuous and you know coming up with i all these things like Oh, I'm this way because my husband's cheating on me or I'm this way because I'm single and I fucking can and I'm, you know, living my best life before before I settle down. Always trying to, you know, defend how you are, your ways and stuff like that. So I feel like because the seven of fire is reversed with the knight of earth reversed, some of you could be wanting to leave those ways behind and ready to settle down now. So that could mean, you know, this is why the spread is here because someone from your past that you keep going back to anyways you could be ending up being with them so um yeah you could be making a proposal to the to them or bringing that up you know conver conversing about it so oh my god i need to sorry i need to put some vix on <laughs> my nose is closing up darlings ah better I swear Vix is like crack to me. I need it all the time. <laughs> all right. Let's see what else is going on for my Aries? We have the five of air reversed, which is the five of swords reversed. Look at that. You see how in the upright there's like a hand trying to reach out to this girl here? And because it's reversed, I feel like someone is is really letting go of their egoic ways if that's even a term of their their pride and ego where they were like oh i'm not going to some of them are still a lot of my areas are still in their ego ways where you want to reach out to somebody and tell them how you feel but your pride and your ego gets in your way and that's what's stopping you that's all mental i think it's because the power you know trying to be in power and shit like that so that's the only thing that's delaying things for my Aries. For some of my Aries, not all of my Aries. We have the star card here. Some of you could be in the limelight. In the spotlight, could be out there, um, you know, dating. Could be someone who is seeing. Uh, a lot of people see you as someone who's very sexy, sexually attractive, who's seen as a player, who's seen as all kinds of things, but only you know who you are within. Okay, a lot of people can always, you know, misjudge you just by people always flirting with you and they think because a lot of people flirt with you or you can get a lot of chicks or a lot of men, they think you are a hoe or, a, a, or a, you know, a player or something like that. But like I said, everybody always talks shit. So this could represent someone that you've been keeping your eye on, that you see them as, you know, the fucking star in your eye you see them as oh my god this person is like the holy grail i'm gonna end up with them um i see them as someone that i can have kids with babies with uh, kids and babies the same thing someone i can marry someone who's uh, housewife material someone who's husband material who can run shit can handle their business and handle their wife and kids at the same time you know so yes we ooh, we have the five of fire oh five of wands here this is someone who's very aggressive in bed i know a lot of my fire signs are very aggressive in bed you like to get freaky kinky you like to get it on you like to do all the smacking in the ass you like to do the biting on the nipples you like to do the scratching you like to do the the hardcore sex here so I feel like a lot of my Aries have been craving this wild beast in bed type of shit. So you will be getting it. It's coming. I feel like this person that's coming into your life or you're going to be meeting, you know, the one, <laughs> the one that you keep coming back to or a new one. Um, this is someone that you wish that you that you you could have. Maybe they're taken. Maybe they're married. Maybe you're taken or married or vice, you know, whatever the scenario is. It's like. This is like someone you wish to have. They have the looks. They're fucking bomb in bed. They give good oral. It's uh, it's the complete package there, you know? So it's like you guys like to take your anger on each other sexually in a good way. So, okay. That escalated quickly. What flew out? 
the queen of water flipped over queen of cups see some of my aries have five uh have water in their chart it could be cancer scorpio pisces someone who's very you know loving could be a beast in bed could be a porn star in bed and when you're not in bed you're you're sexy in your own way very loving very nurturing and that's what they love about you so it's kind of like having the whole having it all the complete package let me get my other deck here expect lots of sex hot wild hardcore sex you know the good good shit <laughs> Ooh, what we got here? Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Ooh, ooh. Seven of Pentacles reversed. To me, this represents someone who could be tired of sleeping around and wants to settle down now. It could be someone who's in a relationship and could be bored of the sex. Uh, the passion, the intimacy is no longer there. So you're thinking about moving on or you're thinking about cheating or other things you could be fantasizing about someone else while you're sleeping with this person so that's what i'm seeing here let's get some more we have the ace of spades which is the ace of swords reversed this look at how it looks like in the upright yeah she's like a butt naked mm-hmm so in the reverse with this card here, someone could be literally telling, okay? Someone is maybe keeping it to themselves on how bored they are with their partner or this other person. You have to keep it to yourself or you've been lying to yourself. Okay, you probably lost opportunities with other people because of this, you know, person that you're doing and you're getting bored of that because they're not fun anymore. So you, you're looking for someone more flirtatious, more playful. And this could also represent that you could be, um, oh, I just heard that someone accidentally said somebody else's name in bed. Uh-huh. And that caused some kind of, that's going to be a breakup in some way for somebody. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. And it could, like I said, it could mean that you are thinking about somebody else while you're sleeping with somebody else. Yep, shit's getting real, yo. Look at what we have here. The Knight of Pentacles, which which is right here. They both came out reversed. That's twice already. See that? Someone wants somebody really, really bad. I feel like it could be someone who's taken. Both taken. And that's like, you guys, you guys been thinking about getting together? For like the small groups of you who are going through that. And there could be a delay. But I feel like you guys are sneaky. And you are seeing each other. Maybe sleeping together. And you're keeping it on the low. Someone is keeping this on the low low. Like fucking not telling anybody. Okay. And you're very careful who you tell. Especially with that beware card that we pulled. Be careful who you tell. Because they could be telling your wife or your husband or something. Your other person starting drama. So I feel like someone is sneaking around. Sleeping with somebody else. And they're not saying it. Nope. That's why I picked up. I channeled that someone was thinking about the person that they're sneaking around with. While they're with somebody else. And for those who are single. This could also imply for you too. Imply to you too. We have the Four of Wands. Okay, see, someone wants to settle down. Someone wants to leave boring relationships. They're tired of being promiscuous for the, the you know, the half that is tired of being promiscuous. They want to settle down. Okay, they are tired of coming forward to go out there and date. That's probably why we also have the, the Knight of Earth here, especially for my singles. You guys are tired of being promiscuous, tired of being out there and dating. It gets exhausting. You just haven't met the one. So you probably find yourself going back to an ex or someone that you feel like you've known for a while and you could be settling down with them. Especially with the four of wands, which is the four of penis because they look like penises. <laughs> could also mean someone sleeping with four people. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. 
The Ten of Cups, reverse. Someone's not happy in the relationship or they're not happy being single anymore. They want to be settled down. Oop, that flew right out. What is that? The world reversed. Wow, the world reversed. So you have some unfinished business to do with somebody. I told you it could be someone from the past. Someone you keep going back to. Definitely that. Something has not ended yet. A cycle has not completed. Like I said, unfinished business to take care of. Sexually unfinished business, if you know what I mean. Someone still wants to keep fucking, is what I'm hearing. They're like, I'm not done with you. I want to keep going and going. And then eventually you end up pregnant, married, and... Big and fat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> we have the two of swords reverse. Some you see, someone already made their decision. This is a decision already being made. Okay? Someone knows what they want and they're gonna go forward. Communicate wise too. We have the what is this? The knave of pentacles reversed. Okay, yeah. They, someone wants to find the one, someone's ready to settle down or you've already found the one and you're not saying it to anybody, that could also be it. This could represent you sneaking around too, having sex with that person. Uh-huh, could be an earth sign, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Those are the two signs that pop out most to me. We have the Knight of Swords. Look at that. Knight of Swords. This is for my couple people who want to get out of a relationship. Someone's taking off and this person's like, where the fuck do you think you're going? Or someone could get caught trying to sneak away. So be careful. And it's kind of like you don't give a fuck if you do get caught because you're bored and you're not... You don't want to be in that relationship anymore. And if you're single and you find yourself, you know, coming forward, you're going to come forward to communicate to this person that you're you're finally ready to settle down with them. Or you're telling people that you are looking for the one or what, ready to settle down. Oh, I also heard that this could be someone saying, you know what? Uh, I just wanted you for sex and now I'm out. And they're like, what the fuck? I'm sorry, but that's what I got. <laughs> Let's get a card from the Lover's Oracle really quick. Aries. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Someone was creating all kinds of memories. Especially if you have so many lovers and shit. You did it so that when you settled down, you could say you did it. You did it all. It says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Woo! Do I need to take these? No, that's too many. Okay, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change that is which beyond our control. Especially if you're that type that's wild and you like to be out there. It's in your nature. You can't tie down a wild animal. Their spirit will die. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. For my Aries. It's that time. You know what type of arrow is going to be striking? That penis. Okay. We have sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. This is coming together sexually with someone, okay? When you have sex with someone, it's sacred no matter what because you're allowing them into your, your soul, your temple. We have power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. This is someone literally walking away. Saying no and walking away, I'm done. I have the power. Someone trying to control you, trying to stop you with their hands on their hip. Where the fuck do you think you're going? Blah, 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 blah. And you're like, I'm out. Bye. You don't have power over me. Okay. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. 
It's all about the choices. Last card we have here is sexual union. Wow. Sacred union and sexual union. It says, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Obviously, you're going to be in that sexual bliss when you unite with this person, right? We did have that union card. It's time. There's going to be a reconciliation of someone that you find yourself coming back to all the time. Or this could be a new person that you feel like, damn, they're, they're, they're the one. I have this, you know, uh, inner knowing that I've seen them before or I've, my soul knows them before. And I'm so attracted to, to them in a way where I'm like, damn, you, you, this person's so strong and powerful. The union is, the connection is amazing that you're willing to give up your player ways and drop everybody else just to be with them. That's, you know, that's when you know you found the one. All right, Aries, this was your sex and love reading for October. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys very much, and I'll see you in your next video. Bye.